Hello everyone, welcome to Unreal Engine for Beginners tutorial. We are making a dungeon crawler game and in our last episode we added the dodge to our enemy so that now he dodges our attacks as well. He doesn't only just attack, he also dodges which is a good What's wrong? Wait, okay, that was weird. Okay, okay, okay. Um, okay, so over here we need to do something, and that thing would be if the enemy itself is not dead. If it's not dead, then only do these things. Otherwise, do not do these things. Uh, yeah, also. Um, we could do something. Yeah, <coughs> that would be. Let's. I totally forgot about that. Let's go to our enemy base and damage dealt. And yeah, over here. Uh, self get AI controller. brain get brain component and actually is it detach or something deactivate so there we go and let's see now this is as you can see it's green and it's actually has a behavior tree to work with now we should actually hmm, that was not what I thought it would be Let's destroy component itself, I guess. Let's see how that works. Mm. Let's see. Okay, this one still works, right? Um, I have to check that. As you can see, he stops it. And no, it does not. Hmm. Let's see. Uh, let's try doing this from the controller itself. Okay, let's see. Um, Actually, let's try one more thing. Um, yeah, probably. Yeah, stop the logic. Reason? Why do I need a reason? Killed. So let's see if this one works at least. So. Uh, 
and there we go it actually stopped him and as you can see it's turned red so now he won't move or anything which is good so <clears throat> that's good so that is fixed and now we can move to our final strafe so i'll add the decorator and uh, if it is set to strafe i will do the strafe for the strafe i would again add a new task but before that i need to set the logic over here as well so i'll create a custom event and i'll call this strafe and let's see mm, i want to get the actor location first i want to get random re get random point in a figable radius maybe let's make it to 500 and then we can use the ai move move to location or actor yeah move to location or actor would be better and the controller would be get ai controller and control actor is self go actor nothing acceptable radius um, this one part be fine it's continuous project goal on navigation uh, i don't know what that means to be honest mm. Okay, on move finished um, on move finished uh, I'll make the enum I'll call the enum none and let's see how that works if this doesn't work we'll change things also um yeah i will also need to do something that would be set actor rotation and i'll do the same thing i'll get the character reference and the location for this find look at rotation split split see and uh let's get the actor look uh no not location get actor rotation and let's split this one as well and the x and the y so <coughs> this is set and let's see if there will be any issues or not maybe um let's do the same thing as strafe strafe is playing possibly let's do this set to true and strafe is playing false and also on damage dealt maybe and also let's go back uh, my mouse is broken ah, 
need to change it soon. Uh, continue. And where else do I need to go? Over here, right? And let's print this one. Failed move to let's see when it calls and when it does not. And with that said, uh, let's make a new task now. I will name this one BTT underscore strip. So let's go to BTT strafe now. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's fix up trees once. AI. Yeah, and the other one is gone, which is good. So let's override receive execute AI. Cast to BP enemy base. Hmm. And we need to call in strafe and then finish execute and let's finish and yeah for this let's do the same thing is strafe displaying it is not only then strafe otherwise return as unsuccessful and let's go over here and call in the btt strafe and let's see oh right also before that i need to go to the enemy base and plug in the strip at zero. So let's see. He goes over there. He does not look while he moves. Yeah, he does not look at us while he moves so let's see the strafe once more target itself mm. let's move this um let's select all of this cut it let's move to the event tick call in a branch press b and press b and left click and then we need to check if the strafe is playing mm, sorry about that uh, let's do a sequence first s and left mouse Again over there and below over here like this and control V and set it over here like this compile save and now let's play again
so yeah he's strafing up and also another thing i would like to do is in the aid controller make the ai perception to about eight eight seconds actually five would be enough i would say make it five and there we go And also, let's do another thing. Uh, while strafing, I'm calling the strafe type. Um, yeah. While I'm calling the strafing, let's call in dodge first. So this one will go one, two. No. Can't call in dodge. Um, I just need to do. Actually, I just need to call this. Yeah, let me get that over here like this. Uh, strafing. Yeah, it's part of strafing. So on blend out, and this one would be. Give me a second. Um, yeah, let me just open them back up. And make the dodge back over there. And this. Yeah, just like that. Okay, so the AI works much better. But even now it's really easy. So in the future we'll make sure that the enemies try to block our attacks um, when they see us coming towards them trying to attack. They will be blocking it but we'll be doing that later on since now we have a basic ai setup which is enough at this moment we will move to some other things like wait what happened Let's see the set target. This value would be base player. Make sure that is set and Let's see that one. It has set the target as enemy base two. Mm, let's see the set target again. Uh, right, this is casting to the base player. Yeah, we do not want to cast to the base player. We want to cast to the enemy. Not enemy, sorry, player. BP player just like that <clears throat> by the way if you do not know how I did that it's control and left mouse that way you will just pull it from here so you don't have to unplug all of this you can just 
<coughs> click and pull from these okay so it's control and left mouse uh, so that was done let's see now we should also let set a What's wrong with that guy though? Okay, that is weird. This time it saw me. Like, what's wrong with this? Let's see. Now he doesn't want to see me. That is weird. Target will be okay. This we are doing. Uh, let's do for each loop. We are doing it for the first one only. It's a loop body and it is valid. So delete this one and this is the BP player now it will be fine so yeah the thing is he sees like two three of the enemy he even sees the enemy so he gets that first one but that first one is not the player okay bp player so he just neglects it and he never sets the target so that was the issue actually yeah for at that time i just had set it up for debugging and I forgot to change it back with a for loop so sorry about that guys and now that it is fixed we can actually stop with the AI over here and concentrate on the combat a bit so we can have long range weaponry as well for attacking the enemies as you can see they are they are not that difficult to beat because the damage they deal is only 10 at this moment but yeah if they were supposed to have the same damage as us they would eventually kick our ass so that is something as well also i need add in a damage system for our character not a damage system but a damage montage for our character as well so we will see what we can do in our next lesson if we can do that or we can do something else so thank you guys for watching this video and i'll see you in the next one